the wrong thing. You know, it's nothing's quite done. They're like, fuck you, it's shipping now. Sound, Alex Burton. Yeah, the easiest job in the world. There is no sound. There is no sound. I just realized that. Design. What did he do? What? There's no design to this game. How do I get out? Okay, you click. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to click random race once, you know. Go through all the options. Then I'm going to see if quitting the game normally works. It crashes enough, I haven't yet had to do that. And I'm probably going to uninstall this immediately after this race is done. Okay. So... Oh, shit, son. Wait, look at the Ultra now. Three of the checkpoints at the end are already done? I guess, is this Devil's Passage 2, maybe? Or am I just forgetting what 1 is like? So I did notice that I'm in the, uh... No, I guess I'm in the Mega 1, so I was kind of thought, does it just select the first race and the first track and the first big rig to race you when you click random? No, it looks like it actually is random. That is just about the easiest thing to program, too. Hairpin Curve. Jesus Christ. Now, if there actually was collisions in this game, that would have been difficult. As it is, I just phased through a building, and what the hell is going on here? So, gravity doesn't work. What am I talking about? There is no gravity in this game. You know, they have, like, the building blocks for a game here. It actually could be kind of fun, you know? I've, I've never actually driven one on the road, but I've, you know, been inside of a semi, and it is a feeling of power, you know, to be in there and have the engine and the gear shifters and all that there, and you know that at any moment you could just barrel through anything you wanted, but I'm just going to go explore it a little bit. I'm, I'm curious what's up here. Nothing at all. Okay, so for one moment, I was curious about what was in the game. Also, the ground was an effect of lighting. For one moment, the game actually had my undivided attention right there. And then it was gone. And the ground is like that thing from uh, Stephen King's creep show, the, the, when the uh, meteorite falls. And there's that weird plant life. That, uh, that covers everything, even people. See, it's covering the road. Fortunately, the, the, the big rig men, they have the power of their big rigs to beat, beat it back. That would have been a much more interesting story. Not that I... Racing games don't have to have any story whatsoever. On the other hand, I do expect more than just random race and custom race. I do expect, like, a championship system of some kind. But if there's only four tracks, you know, I never really thought about it. Okay, so the checkpoint system stopped working somewhere along the way. I never really thought about it, but, you know, there's not a lot of game here. I mean, four cars could be okay. That is, you know, an acceptable number of vehicles. And if these were... Four tracks, though, is not very many for a game. You know, I, I do expect more tracks than that. It's not like the... What the fuck is underneath the ground here? I guess that's nothingness, actually. That's the void. The, the, the dark world below. What the hell is this I'm looking at? This is like some sort of crazy pipeline. There's just not much game here. I could see this being like a tech demo, you know? I mean, if this was released in like 99, and they said, oh, we're making this game, this is the, you know, this is our tech demo, I would have said, okay, I'm actually interested in this game. Because that's what this feels like, a tech demo. It's not even a normal gameplay demo. 
because there's no gameplay. Okay, that's another problem with this game. It's hard to call what you're doing playing. Playing implies that there is a matter of skill, a matter of luck, a chance to win, and a chance to lose. There's no skill, uh, you know, if you wanted self-imposed rules, like stay on the road, then yes, there'd be skill. As it is, the game imposes no rules over you. If it had multiplayer, I could actually, this game would actually get some rotation on my computer a little bit, you know? So this would be kind of fun to, you know, fuck around with this, with Ren, in the same race. But as it is, it just makes you wonder why you're doing this. Okay, so I've now been completely around the track. It's not that I missed a checkpoint. The checkpoints literally have stopped working. I've been through every one of them twice since it stopped accelerating them. It stopped advancing which checkpoint I need to go to. So it's not that I missed one. The game literally gave up on that part of the game. You know, I mean, there's, there's uh, no real... In racing games, generally, there's relatively little luck. In like a two-on-two -two race, especially, there's almost no luck. On on in, with more racers, you know the AI, what the other cars are doing can make a difference. It's, this vaguely reminds me of Beetle Adventure Racing for the 64, in the same way that there's only a few cars, but that and that game had six tracks. But it was actually rather fun because. Every single championship consisted of the first three plus one more each time, and the cars got harder and harder to beat. So even though you played the first uh, three tracks quite a lot, and the fourth one relatively a bit, it was still pretty fun because, you know, those were actually very interesting tracks, lots of shortcuts, you know, lots of different things you could do. You had to find, you know, the nitrous boxes. This game just makes me wish I was playing that. Alright, so, I think I've had about enough of this. Let's see if the quit works. Just thought I would turn on Fraps again to note that this game just restarted itself on its own after I had quit it. I am now going to uninstall this game. Because there is no reason I would ever want it on my computer. And doesn't seem to be uninstalling very, quitting very well.